Juliet Ross has come to the UCL hospital in London for a moment of truth. She'll find out how much her brain has already been damaged. The 46-year-old is suffering from Huntington's disease, a rare neurological disorder that affects one in 10,000 people. Due to a genetic defect, her body produces a toxic protein that damages neurons in her brain. Over the years, she'll find it more and more difficult to control the movements of her body. Her emotions and cognitive ability will also suffer. At the moment, there's no cure for Huntington's disease, but there is hope, at least for the future, coming from a number of research endeavors. One is a European project called Paddington. With the aid of cutting-edge computer modeling, researchers in Italy have developed a new compound that could help slow down the progression of the disease. Russell Thomas of Siena Biotech is responsible for the development of the new drug, which tries to disable the toxic protein. What happens is it, um, it binds to the protein in such a way that it stops the protein from doing its job. So it's as, almost as if you're putting a, the wrong key into a lock and jamming it so that that lock no longer works. And it it's essentially jams the machinery of the protein and stops it doing its natural function, which in the case of a Huntington's patient is a damaging function. In the laboratory, the researchers are producing small quantities of the compound, which then undergoes rigorous quality controls. Before the new substance is tested in clinical trials though, the researchers need to find a way to very precisely monitor progression of the disease. Within the same research project, scientists in London are trying to find indicators, so-called biomarkers, that can show changes in disease progression within a few months. Following analysis of blood and the brains of Huntington patients, they found biomarkers that could be used to verify whether the new compound actually slows down the disease. But ultimately, many believe the solution could come through stem cell research. At the University of Milan in Italy, Elena Catania is the coordinator of the European research project NeuroStem Cell. Her team is working on a method to replace lost neurons in the brain. We try to understand how the genetic defect is causing the degeneration of neurons, and we try to find new strategies how to build in the laboratory just the kind of neurons that are being destroyed by the illness. Our aim is to study the illness in more detail, and perhaps in the future to use these cells for experimental transplants. The scientists have already taken some important steps forward, but many things still need to be improved. For example, at the moment, only 10% of the newly created neurons are actually suitable for a possible replacement. This figure needs to increase substantially before the first transplants can be performed. And this will still take many years of intense research. Juliet Ross inherited the disease from her father, her two sons might also carry the genetic disorder. Despite all this, Juliet tries to be positive. You know, the progress uh, that is being made with the Huntington's research that, um, and that the pace at which it's um, happening, um, I do feel that you know, there will be um, some sort of treatment available.